what is up it's Blynn and I'm back doing my makeup once again and we've got to talk about the drama there is a lot that has happened on Gabby Hanna's TikTok since I made my last video so I'm here to talk about it with you guys because girl the shit is hitting the fan with Gabby Hanna people are calling her out on Twitter now there's a lot to get into there's quite a lot to dissect with this whole situation where Gabby Hanna had, of course, uploaded something like 300 TikToks. People were genuinely worried for Gabby. People genuinely thought Gabby was going through something extremely difficult, like a bad manic episode or a psychotic break or something like of that nature. You know, people thought that Gabby was genuinely going through the gigs. Like, she's had a lot of fans and a lot of people across social media worried about her. Even TMZ reported on Gabby's breakdown and the fact that she uploaded as many TikToks as she did. But now things have kind of changed a little bit and it's not looking so genuine. So because she's a new palette, I am diving into the Star Wedding palette again. And I want to do like another kind of different look than what I did yesterday with this. So let's get into this Gabby Hanna drama. So Gabby Hanna, after uploading these 300 odd TikToks, you know, scaring everybody on social media, making everybody think that she was going through some kind of bad manic episode or psychotic break, whatnot, you know, making a lot of people worried for her. A lot of her fans were responding to her TikToks that she was posting saying that they were genuinely worried for her and all of this kind of stuff. And now, as of this morning, I woke up and saw that Gabby Hanna has deleted all of those TikToks that she posted. So the 300 odd TikToks that she posted, like, you know, where it seemed that she was in like a very heightened, manic state have now all disappeared and of course you know nobody knows the exact truth apart from Gabby but to remove those 300 TikToks and go straight into then promoting our album that looks really really fishy to me that looks really suspect you know and like I said in my video about this yesterday as well the fact that Gabby was gloating about being on TMZ you know, that TMZ had picked up the story of her, you know, having this breakdown, allegedly. The fact that Gabby was gloating about that and she's now deleted those 300 odd TikToks that had fans really, really scared for her. And now she's uploading other TikToks where she's claiming that she does this that she made those 300 TikToks, that she had the psych people out to evaluate her, all of this. She's claiming that she did all of this because her reputation was already ruined and, you know, people on social media already think that she's crazy. So the only way for her to get attention is to act crazy. So this is what Gabby said this morning in a video on TikTok. I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but I'm gonna include a clip of it here so you can hear it in Gabby's own words. But just before I get into the clip of Gabby in her own words, you know, what I will say is that in a lot of Gabby's TikToks, those 300 TikToks that she was putting up, there was so much racism, there was a lot of transphobia, there were so many things that were wrong in these TikToks. At the time, I was giving her a pass for it, or not even giving her a pass for it, but I was just kind of saying, okay, well, she's clearly going through something, so I'm not going to harp on her for saying all these racist things, for, you know, being transphobic and everything like that. I wasn't going to come down hard on Gabby for that behaviour because I thought that she was genuinely going through something. Now in this clip, what she says is something completely different to her going through an actual breakdown. The reality of my existence in my career, and I've long since just kind of accepted it, which is why I just do whatever the fuck I want, and it's fine, as long as people aren't like busting in my house and fucking threatening me. 
Years ago, I was assaulted at a party and instead of that person being held accountable, I filed a police report, nothing was done. The entire internet, almost pretty much everyone except for a couple people were on his side. I was victim shamed and bullied and I had human beings coming up to me, coming to my book tours, coming up to me while I'm shopping, harassing me, following me, making fun of my nose, making fun of my voice, demeaning me in public. Like I'm five foot five, I'm small, and fucking tall ass men following me around, making fun of me. And ever since then, it's just been one thing after another, and the tabloids of the internet have done everything in their power to just make me a fucking crazy hysterical woman. So now nobody pays attention to me unless I'm a crazy hysterical woman. So I'm a crazy hysterical woman, fine. I'm gonna channel that into something that actually matters, which is dying children, homeless people, racism. You're the kind colored girl, stay in the ghetto like you want us to. Should I just stay out of the nice, beautiful neighborhood with the wonderful school district for my children to avoid the assholes? Nah, I'll be good. <laughs> and then in this clip, I can't actually play the audio of this clip from Gabby's TikTok Live because it's got music in it, which I'll get copyright struck for. But in this TikTok Live, Gabby was saying black people... Uh, like more powerful and stuff like this because they're closer to God they're told to keep their faith and then she went on to say that black women in particular are you know superior because the men leave them to raise the children alone and if that isn't fucking racist then I don't know what is if that isn't a fucking racist stereotype then what is Gabby Hanna was fucking well on one here. She was just saying the most stereotypical racist things in this TikTok live. It was horrendous to watch. And I'm sad that I can't play it for you so that you guys can hear it for yourselves. But like I say, it's got music in this clip. So I really can't play it because then I'm going to get demonetized and I'm going to get, you know, a copyright strike or whatever. But what she was doing in this clip, girl, it was fucking sick. And Gabby might be Lebanese, but she's white. She's not POC and she's trying to pretend that she's been oppressed like someone who's POC might be. Girl, Gabby is getting dragged left and right for this on social media now that people know that what she was doing was trolling. The fact that there's people without clean water. And yeah, I'm crazy for fucking caring. I already had my reputation and so much of my peace stripped away from me. So let's get this straight, right? In those TikToks, those 300 odd TikToks that she put up, Gabby Hanna was racist, was transphobic, and was also trolling about religion as well, pretending that she was God, or she was an angel, all of this kind of stuff, which is stuff that happens to people when they have, you know, psychotic breaks or manic episodes. It's all things that can happen. I mean, maybe not the racism and the transphobia, but the believing that you're God or that you've got God-like powers, that can happen, right? But not only has Gabby been racist, transphobic, She's also stigmatized mental health disorders by doing what she did in uploading all those TikToks and making everybody think that she was having some kind of really bad time. From people who just exploited me for profit, just like Britney, just like fucking Britney, and just like fucking Britney, they put me in cuffs and tried to haul me off to a fucking mental hospital. Thankfully for me, I'm actually sane. I don't drink, I don't do hard drugs, and I meditate and stretch so when i was in cuffs it could have been deadly if i would have freaked out and actually been unwell and tried to escape or tried to fight them or tried to attack them then it could have ended with me fucking dying but instead i sat there fucking patiently i waited until the psych people came and here gabby goes comparing herself to britney once again gabby actually did that last week when she was uploading all those TikToks as well. So it's not the first time that Gabby's comparing herself to Britney. Personally, I think that Gabby and Britney's situations are totally different. I don't think you can compare Gabby Hanna sitting in a house making 300 TikToks to Britney Spears 
saying no to a dance move and then being taken away, you know, to some, like, hospital. I don't think that you can compare the two. Really not. And then what made it worse as well is that Gabby was talking about having a psych evaluation and everything at her house, you know, which, fine, okay, if you got past the psych evaluation, does it mean that there's nothing wrong with you? Not always, not always, but, like, this is just all really making me doubt the fact that Gabby was actually going through anything at all. I really, at this point, think that Gabby was just doing all of this to troll and to promote her music. It's bad. It's really, really bad. I'm like, you are, what, in your 30s? She's got to be in her 30s now, and she can't see how problematic all of this is, the racism, the transphobia. Like, I'm, I'm really losing, like, the will to live, actually, talking about these influencers who can't control racism, transphobia, you know, that comes out of their mouths. It's like, you know, it's one thing if you were in an episode, okay, but after that episode, you would then come back and say, oh my god, guys, I'm sorry, I really didn't mean to say any of these things, any of these horrible racist things that I said, or any of these transphobic things that I said, I'm genuinely really sorry, you know, I was having an episode, I was going through something difficult, whatever, you know, you would say to your audience who were worried about you, that you were going through an episode, and that you said all of those things on accident, you know, you wouldn't do what Gabby Hanna's doing, just come back, promote your music, like, as if nothing happened. It's like, Gabby, this time, this has got to stop. None of this, none of this that Gabby Hanna has done was about, you know, poor dying children. None of it was about raising awareness or anything like that. None of it was that. All it was, was Gabby Hanna stigmatising mental health disorders, being racist and being transphobic. Literally, that's all it was. Like, she hasn't helped anyone by doing what she's done at all. Nobody. The only person she's helped is herself. You know, honestly. And I'm pretty sick of it with Gabby now. Like, you know, I really wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt when all of this started. I was like, oh, my God, no, she's going through something. You know, this is bad, you know. And I wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. But now now seeing that it's all trolling i'm like this is like straight out of the trisha paytas handbook this one also i want to talk about jesse smiles because isn't this what gabby hannah did to jesse smiles didn't gabby hannah victim shame and victim blame jesse smiles when jesse smiles was r worded at a party by somebody who was a mutual friend of both gabby and jesse Gabby decided to tell Jessie that she didn't believe her. She told her friend Jessie she didn't believe her, and then she went and sided with Jessie's attacker. She sided with Jessie's attacker, who was a man, and, you know, decided to ask him, oh, is what Jessie said you'd done to me true? Is what Jessie said that you'd done to her true, rather? Like, you don't go up to someone who attacked your friend, you know, and say, oh, did you R-word my friend? My friend says you R-worded her. Like, you just don't do that. And I think this is what everybody is mad with Gabby for because she's done that to Jessie and now she wants people to feel sorry for her. It's just a whole ass mess and it's gone too far at this point. Like, Gabby needs to just fucking stop. Really, really stop. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop this little video right here. I'm sorry if it's been a bit confusing or whatnot. And I'm sorry if you've been able to hear any construction going on. My neighbours are doing construction right now. Very rude while I'm trying to film. Anyway, they're doing construction right now. So if I can, I will come back when I've finished all my makeup and do another little drama video for you. But for now, I'm going to say take care, stay safe, stay well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.